I'd like to share my main tips for staying awake, motivated, and focused in school. I'm a full-time nursing student right now, so I have a lot of experience with what it's like to be taking a lot of really informative classes in a row and trying to pay attention and take notes through all of them and to get as much out of it as possible. The reason you're in school is to learn, so when you're in class you want to make sure that you're present and having fun, paying attention, and learning as much as you can. So my first tip is always, always bring something to drink. I have my first class at 8, not every day, but some days, and if I come to class without tea or water, I just instantly want to go back to sleep. So I bring my favorite thing, this is my, this is my lifesaver, the Clean Canteen, and it's insulated, it's stainless steel. These run about $30, and I've seen them on Amazon for maybe $25. You can get them in smaller sizes too, so those ones are cheaper. And this keeps things cold for 24 hours. Like if I put ice in it at 8 o'clock one morning, 8 o'clock the next morning there will still be ice in it. So this is awesome. And my favorite thing to do in the canteen is to put mint and lime infused water in it because the mint just helps me really just re like be refreshed and, and awake up and the citrus does the same thing. So that's awesome. I love putting infused water in my canteen. If I don't want something cold because it's currently like an average of zero degrees here and it has been for weeks and weeks in the Midwest, then I, I do tea. I, I usually always do tea in the morning and my favorite tea is just a plain mint tea because that's obviously just a hot version of <laughs> infused water so that's awesome. I also like the organic ginger tea because ginger is just like so warm and spicy then in the morning in class you're just drinking it and you feel good and it's good for your body and it's just a nice way to start your day and then that always like when I wake up and I think oh I'm gonna go make my tea and go to class it's just a little bit motivating for me to be able to enjoy my drink of choice and I don't drink any caffeine other than what's in tea so I don't rely on coffee or soda to wake me up and I have a one one and a half year old so I'm I'm pretty busy with that but I don't I don't ingest any caffeine other than what's in teas because I don't I don't think it's good for my body it makes me really nauseous and shaky so that's what I do and that really works for me my second favorite item is these ginger mints and these I usually use during the day in class if I'm just like getting bored or distracted I'll just start eating mints over and over again because it helps me like again they're a little bit spicy so if I chew them really fast it's just a nice little you know jump of energy to wake me up and get back on track my third tip is take handwritten notes I see so many students in class sitting with their computers open on Pinterest or Facebook and then I get distracted because I'm looking at the cute outfits they're trying to put together or whatever. So just take handwritten notes. Save your computers for when you're looking the PowerPoints or the class lectures back up. Like just take notes because then you'll be forced to pay attention. You'll have a secondary uh, source for referring to for studying. You won't just have a PowerPoint. You'll have handwritten notes. It's so helpful. I, I That's like my biggest thing is just Come to class, sit down, take notes the whole time, and you'll have a hard time falling asleep because if you do, then you'll miss, you know, your opportunity to take good notes. Another tip I have is always bring snacks. There's a lot of times where if I don't have food, I just get super hungry and then I can't focus and I just get pissed off because the professors are just talking and talking and I'm like, can you stop talking because I'm so hungry. So I always bring snacks. I bring an apple every day that I have class because Dr. Oz says that an apple is the best thing to eat for the afternoon slump. And I definitely agree with that because it, you know, it tastes good, not too filling, and it helps kind of give me a little boost. So I always bring apples and I always bring clementines. These are so good for your backpack too because if you bring like bananas or pears, they get smashed everywhere. That happens to me like on a weekly basis. So I always bring those. And then the clementines too, if I'm falling asleep, I'll sit and kind of like rub the peel on my hands and smell it. And that kind of helps wake me up as well. My next tip is 
during your class breaks, make sure you stand up and stretch or just take a little walk up and down the stairs or to the bathroom for a drink of water, whatever you need to do. Get up. There are most of my classes, my biggest class has 96 students and only about 10% of people get up during the break. And I think if everybody got up and moved, we would all just communally feel a lot more energized and ready to take in the information presented to us. My final tip is to dress the part. You're going to, you know, junior high, high school, college, whatever you're going, you know, when you get up in the morning, put some jeans on at the least, you know, to put a little makeup on, do your hair so you just feel like you've done something to present yourself to the public, like I'm here, I'm ready to learn, I'm ready to go. You know, if you're wearing sweats and a sweatshirt, you'll just want to fall asleep again. And that's why I never wear sweats to class. I haven't worn sweatpants to class unless I'm coming directly from the gym, which is a rare occasion <laughs> because I work out at home. So come dressed the part because that really helps you, you know, your mood be to learn to be awake and not in your bed sleeping. I guess, oh, I have one more, I have one more, sorry. My last one is work out and shower before class if you possibly can, especially night classes, I find that's helpful. If you just do, do a quick workout, five minutes, 10 minutes, do some jumping jacks, anything to just get your blood pumping because if you just, some people I know just roll out of bed and right in their car and right to school, well, you've hardly had a chance to move your body to get it ready for the day. So definitely, you know, eat breakfast, work out, shower, because that helps a lot and you will be ready. And I really hope that this has been helpful to you because I find, you know, a lot of people in my classes are always distracted. They're always falling asleep, always on their phones or computers. And I think that there's a time and a place for that because some people, you know, some professors are kind of boring. But for the most part, just, you know, try these tips. Try to stay awake and get as much out of it as you can, even if it's not a class you like. Just taking something out of it, it'll be worth it too because most likely you're paying for it in some way or another and so you want to to be present and to learn something. So I hope this has been helpful and try them out and let me know how you think they work.